Bees, why are you so cool? Pierce, hey from Australia. First off, shouts out to Australia. Why am I so cool? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm cool. Cause I'm just like a regular person, but I think it's because I I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind. I'm not afraid to express myself, whether it's through creativity, whether it's through rants, tweets, whatever it is. And I just I just be me. Like I, I don't I don't let nobody stop me from being me. So I think that's probably what makes me cool. I'm hoping nobody has asked you this question, bees. But if you had to be any one of your favorite superheroes, which one would you be and why? If I gotta be any superhero, probably. Mmm, he's not a superhero, so Deadpool. I know that, that that's corny because Deadpool just came out, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Comment it, I don't give a fuck. 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 What other superhero could I, re like, I could really only be Deadpool or, like, Spider-Man because I'm childish. Like, I, my personality is so childish. I gotta be one of them, too. I can't, I couldn't be, like... I mean, I have dark moments like Batman, but I can't be Batman. Like, I gotta be childish. It's always a joke somewhere. I always, it's gotta be a joke. Something gotta be funny. I don't, I don't care. What kind of lie you be smoking? Well, sometimes I like to. Don't do it. You the feds. That's the feds. Don't do it. Don't incriminate yourself. Um, I, I don't smoke loud. I, um, I actually smoke quiet. And I, by smoking quiet, I mean reading books in the library. Because education is the key to success. Don't don't uh, fondle with your education by getting involved in drugs and activities such as that. Who would do such a thing? Do not involve yourself in drugs. Ever. Just, just don't do it. Why are you so fine, like? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I don't know. My glow up was serious. Like, if I could go back and look at all my baby, my glow up was okay. I was I was a cute baby, but in the middle, like it, it was all it was all bad, bro. Glow up, glow up's real, bro. I, I I'm on my butterfly shit right now. <laughs> Who pizza's better, Papa John's, Domino's, or Pizza Hut? You know what? Fuck all of them, cause they ain't finna pay me shit. Domino's is probably better though. I, I personally like Domino's. I mean, you can like what you want, but I like Domino's. Do you ever go to bed happy knowing that you've made someone small today? Actually, that's probably the best feeling I get before I go to bed because I know that no matter whether it's one person or if it's a thousand people or it's 10,000 people, somebody somewhere is like, oh my God, this video was so funny or oh my God, this song was so tight or oh my God, that tweet was so funny. This picture was so nice, da 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 and it's just like, that's crazy. I never thought I would be like the type of person that I am today. Like growing up, if you would've told me like, oh shit, you finna have a million subscribers, you might be one of the best rappers to ever live. I would've probably been like, oh God. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever be coming to Australia because I really wanna meet you? Love you. I honestly wanna probably travel to all of Earth in my lifetime. Granted, I don't think I would reach everything, but Australia is definitely one of those things that's just like, oh my, you know how like when you grow up, you hear about like just a couple of places, like you don't hear about everything. You hear about like Egypt, Africa, Australia, you hear about all the continents, all the countries, da, da, da. well not all of them, but, and I just want to touch all the ones that I feel like would be awesome to just travel to. So Australia is definitely something that's on my, on my list. Plus I want to meet a kangaroo. An Australian kangaroo. Like, I don't want to meet no bullshit ass zoo kangaroo because them niggas don't even. I want to meet an Australian. Good eye, Mike! Like, one of. Like. <laughs> have you ever had a gay experience? If you. If by gay experience you mean like. Have I ever like kissed the dude? Is it, nah, bro. Why she raise her eyebrow like she plotting? Like she. Like, no, don't do that! Okay, bees, I'm looking a little crazy, but you know what? I'm gonna be popping. Um, how do you love somebody who doesn't love themselves? Damn, that's a good question. How do you love somebody that don't love themselves? You can't love somebody that don't... Mm, I take that back. Yes, you can. You can love somebody that don't love themselves, but they don't necessarily have to love you back. Is the thing. Because y'all could love me and I could probably hate myself. You see what I'm saying? But, like, you can't force me to love you if I don't love you. Because I would much rather love myself before I try to go love another person. 
that's just me though, because I feel like that's selfish. I feel like if you if you taking all this time to like figure me out, love me, this, that, and the third, and I'm just sitting here like, mm, I can't reciprocate that love because I don't love myself enough to give love. You feel me? That probably didn't. Mean. I, I hope somebody know exactly what I'm trying to say. I probably sound stupid. I hope somebody knows exactly what I'm trying to say, but that's what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? That. What I just said. Is what I'm... You want some Cheez-Its? Like... Yo, Bees, I just want to know what keeps you motivated. And, uh... What are the next bangers you're gonna drop? You know what I'm saying? Them shit's bangers, bro. Um, what keeps me motivated is... Feedback. Constant, constant, constant feedback because I just want to get better and better and better. Um, fans, obviously, and first and foremost, pretty much. And another thing that motivates me is the fact that every time I wake up, it's like I get a new day to try to better myself, whether it's through my craft or whether it's just through me being a person. So I just, like, every day I feel like I just want to be better than I was yesterday. Even if it's about, like, this much. This little as much, I still just want to be better than I was yesterday. So every day is just like constant progress. And you know, some days you might have like big growths of progress. Some days you might just have like a little bitty ass growth. But growth is growth. Slow or fast, it don't matter. I just want to get better, bro. That's it. So that's my motivation. My motivation comes as soon as I wake up because it's just like, oh shit, I've been granted like another day on earth. Swear to God, it's fucking lit. Let's go. Hi bees, have you got any um, tips or anything motivational for anyone that's trying to get into the music industry or into showbiz or anything? I guess the only tips that I might have for people that's trying to get in the music industry and or show business is to do it. Like, easier said than done, absolutely. But you can't, like, because I get people that, like, Snapchat me and tweet me all the time like ah, I want to make music and I want to make videos this that, and the third But I don't necessarily know what to do like what do I need how like you you learn these things as you go forth Like obviously okay if you were try, if you're trying to make a video What would you need you feel what I'm saying like a camera if you if you're trying to edit said video What would you need editing software? So it's like you get those two things and you just like, oh shit, like I've got the steps. Or if you want to make music, you're like, what do I need? Well, you kind of need like like lyrics, like just like the song or whatever you want to make. And then you need recording software and then you need editing. So like some of this stuff is like conscious and tangible, but it's like you don't necessarily think it's, oh shit, it's really that easy. It is that easy, but it's really not that easy because we have to not only... Um, impress yourself first and foremost but then you have to you have to impress others you have to make it convincing to other people that they want to like feed into your brand like oh shit i trust that you know what i'm saying whatever this whatever movie he's in or whatever song he or she puts out is going to be amazing because they've shown me like quality work so it's like i like i i, I completely am invested all like into that person hey bees Why do you like cereal so much, fam? Why do you like cereal so much? Why don't... Uh, for the people who don't like cereal, why the fuck not? Like, what the fuck you really got against cereal, my nigga? Like, cereal probably top five greatest foods on earth easily. Like, it's not even close. How do you just not fuck with, like, no form of cereal, hot or cold? What is wrong with you? Like, how do you not just... I feel like if you don't fuck with cereal, bro, I just can't, can't fuck with you, nah, bro. I want to know, what do you think is really in a Krabby Patty? <laughs> what do I think is really in a Krabby Patty? <laughs> okay, so look, I am like a big Spongebob head. Anybody will tell you that. Anybody will tell you I'm a big Spongebob head. So look, this is the thing. <laughs> It's not about what's in the Krabby Patty. It's really, SpongeBob, the, the concept of making a Krabby Patty is really like a life lesson on some shit. It's like, you know how you go to like McDonald's and you look at the pictures and you see the sandwich looks like it's amazing. Like it's what makes you want to buy the sandwich. But then you get the sandwich and it's just like, yeah. There was no love in your sandwich. Like nobody gave a fuck when they was making your sandwich. They just made your sandwich and gave it to you. They They didn't like, 
oh shit, I'm making this sandwich as if I'm about to eat it next. They just making a sandwich as if like, okay, it's just a sandwich, fuck it. As long as everything's on the sandwich, I don't give a fuck. So Krabby Patty ain't shit but a normal ass patty. It ain't shit but normal ass cheeseburger. But it's about how you make that cheeseburger. Like, did you make, is the food fresh? Is the quality of the food fresh? Is, is did you cook it right? Did you, did you put the ingredients on correct? Like, that's, that's what's in the Krabby Patty. It's the love that you put into your, like, when people make songs, it's like, did you really put your heart into this song? Did you really, like, it? that's what's in the Krabby Patty. That's gonna fuck everybody's head up right now. I love it. I can't. Thumbs up. That was a video of. Um, if you would, how many children would you want to have, and who's your woman crush with that? If I could, I would have zero children because children grow up to be adults like Donald Trump and the KKK. And no, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. At this point in time, I really just don't want kids right now. Maybe in the future, maybe. I've always told myself, even when I was like a kid, my mom used to be like, oh, you got a girlfriend, da, da, da. And she's like, ma, I don't want kids like at all. She, all right, you gonna keep saying that, you gonna have some. Still haven't had kids to this day, been saying this since I was eight. Ma, if you watching, you got me fucked up. But I love you though, I, I swear to you. But you got me fucked up. I'm still here, baby. I'm still here, baby. <gasps> if you could talk to yourself when you were younger, what would be the best advice you'd give yourself? If I could talk to myself when I was younger, what would I say? Or what would the advice be? Weed is amazing. I can't wait until you start smoking it, bro. Because you really gonna, like, expand mentally after you understand what it is that you're smoking. I wouldn't say that. I would just be like, hey, bro, look. This this what we gonna look like when you get older. So, like... Have fun now, obviously, but this is what we gonna look like. We gonna be tall, we're gonna be lanky, we're gonna be tatted, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be we gonna be slight handsome, slight, slight handsome. Don't like don't get in no fights, don't jump off shit. Stop the jump off shit now. Like jumping off swings, jumping off stop that shit now, cause you gonna fuck this up. Do you see this? Do you see this? I'm not trying to, uh, this is, a, this is where it's going to look, so if you stop jumping off shit now, come on, bro, come on, bro, you, come on, bro, you, come on, bro, you, come on. Okay, so look, this is the thing, I know that we're from the hood, right, but it doesn't mean that you have to conduct yourself in that way when you get older, or conduct yourself in that way now. You can differentiate yourself from your friends. You can have hood friends, obviously, but you don't necessarily have to partake in such activities as hood rat shit. You can you can be your own individual person. People might call you lame, people might call you, oh, you never do this, or you don't ever wanna da da da, but that's okay though, cause it, it's not always cool to fit in sometimes, cause sometimes, What's gonna happen is y'all gonna all get arrested and them niggas might snitch on you, then what? Knowing you didn't do shit, then what? Like, it's cool to not fit in. It's cool to be different. It's cool to um, go through different experiences. It's good. It's cool to have bad grades. It's cool to not be good at shit. It's cool to be the, the best at shit. Just be you. That's it. Let's smoke weed. No, just kidding. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that Q&A. Make sure y'all go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I know I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again because now we at the end part. So make sure you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share this with all your everything. Like gerbil, cats, blinds. I don't give, like, fingernail that you cut off early. Every, every, everybody. Share it with everybody. Follow me on the snaps. No, follow me on the snaps, man. <laughs> the way that I do my Q&As is I don't snap me a Q like after you watch this video don't snap me a q and a question cuz I'm, I'm not going to use it i'm going to open it and be like oh that's going to be it you should wait until i post a snap saying all right i'm doing a q and a now send in your snaps cuz that way i won't lose it and i'll be able to like grab it from snapchat and put it in my bag and put it up in my video you feel me but like you can still add me on the snap i'll be doing all type of crazy shit on there bro you you want to follow all my other social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my SoundCloud. All of that is going to be in the description box below as well as at the end of this video. Um, I think that's pretty much it. No, no, I think, yeah, that's it. 
That's definitely it. Fucks with y'all when I fucks with y'all. Remember, if you a caterpillar right now, you will be a butterfly. All y'all do is just wait. Just wait. Just, just wait. Look like, just wait. You might even be in your cocoon right now. Just wait a little bit. You gonna be that butterfly. You, you gonna be that butterfly. You hear me? Why are you still watching this video? What am I, what am I? Alright, um, who was your meanest girlfriend and why was she so mean? Who was my meanest girlfriend? All of them. Fuck all them hoes. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had just like a meanest girlfriend. I mean, majority of my girlfriends cheated on me. But I don't think I've just had a, like a meanest. I don't date mean. Who dates mean people? That's weird. Do you see yourself in the future?